What's up guys, so today we're going to be playing some Slime Rancher because it was free on the Epic Games launcher so I thought why not give it a go again. I have played it before on Xbox but that was a long time ago so I, I'm still kind of getting used to the controls of it but the aim of the game is to basically make as much money as possible. So what you do is you have to go around and round up the slimes which are really adorable little blobs and you basically pick them up in your gun we can have that one as well and that one and then you have pens that you can keep them in but you have to be careful because some of them can fly so they can actually get out but luckily you can upgrade your pen so we'll quickly check out the upgrades so the coral is basically just your standard pen for holding your standard slimes and you can upgrade the walls to make them higher so they can't jump out music box to keep them calm Airnet will stop them being able to get out the top. Solar shield for the nighttime ones, because otherwise I think they'd die. So you basically have to protect them with that. That will collect the plots, which is what gives you money. And basically the slimes poop them out after you feed them. And yeah, so you collect them, you take them over to the market, you sell them. And you just keep making money and upgrading and then the auto feeder so you can actually put the food in and then it will keep them feeding rather than you having to keep going back and doing it so they are our little pens with our nice slimes in them and luckily one of them's already eaten so this is a plot so you basically collect the plots take them over to the marketplace and it says how much each one gets so these actually get 15 at the moment which quite a good price actually quite high up and as you can see there's loads of different ones that you can get so there's loads of different slimes that we'll be taking a look at so let's put that in there don't forget to subscribe to the channel though guys and also like the video if it gets enough likes I'll keep it going as a series and we'll see how our slime rudge progresses so are, is there any food that I can give them quickly I believe there are yes there's carrots up here so we'll collect the carrots and you basically take them down now the different slimes do eat different things so luckily with the pink ones if you look in the top right if I can stay locked onto one of them it says pink slime stop jumping around stop it <laughs> diet everything so you can basically just feed them anything so if we put them in they eat them and then they poo out the plots get out the way they're always in the way right there we go so then we go sell these right we've got 325 coins I don't think that can actually buy anything can it no not yet I would like to get the high walls first of all to, just to make sure they don't jump out but because we can't afford it at the moment we're gonna go find some more slimes now, there are different parts of the map you can get to, but they're locked and they cost money to unlock, obviously, so quite a bit of money, as you can see. So it takes a while. If I go to one of my empty plots as well, you'll be able to see the different things you can set up here. So the standard coral, just the standard slimes can go in that. Don't have to worry about the nighttime ones. You can have a garden so you can grow food, which is quite handy as well. Gets you more money. You can have a coop because there's actually chickens in the game and they do eat the chickens, some of them. So you have to think about that as well. Silo, basically anything that you collect that you don't want to give to them yet or anything or sell, you can keep in there. And incinerator, don't need it, burn it. I have no idea what we'd be burning. That seems a bit cruel to burn a slime, but we might give it a go, maybe. Might be in this video, might be in the next one. So make sure to subscribe and then if it is in the next video, you'll get to see it. And then the pond of the water slimes. And yeah, that's pretty much all the different pens you can get. There is another area over there that's locked as well. So we're not going to bother running all the way over there just to show you it locked. So we'll go the way of the unlocked ones. So dry reef. If we go over to this, I think it actually unlocks the map, does it? No. Nope. This is just a bit of notice. I know there is a way to unlock part of the map, but I'm not too sure how. So let's go collect some slimes. 
There's quite a lot of the pink ones. They are just the standard ones, so they're pretty much everywhere. So let's just collect those quickly. I think it's 20 of each item we can have at the moment. I think there might be a way to upgrade the gun, but I'm not too sure, so we'll also check that out when we go back to the base. Let's collect as much food as possible as well. There's some more. And let's finish picking these guys up. I'm sure... Oh, did I collect that one then? I thought I threw them away. Right, let's go collect these. That one. Ah, oh, there's some more. Another one, another one, another one. And I think that's all we can hold. Now, you can't hold multiple slots of the same thing. So once I get 20, I can't fill up my fourth slot with the same type. Which is a bit of a shame, because I'd like to just collect loads of them, but... It doesn't matter too much. I mean, they are everywhere, these ones. Um, I won't pick up that plot just yet. Right, that's all my carrots done. Let's get some more... Is it pogo fruit, I think? Get some more of those, and then we'll just quickly run around, because I believe there's some more around here. So yes, there's blue ones with spikes on the head, so you have to be careful, because they do damage you. Ow, ow, ow. Stop it. So, obviously, they give out different types, each of them. What's this? Is this the map? Oh, that is the map. There we go. So, we can actually see all of the map now. Is that our... I think this is our ranch here, isn't it? Yes. So, this is our ranch. These are all different places. So, that's locked. That's locked. I didn't know that was behind the ranch. So, we might go have a look at that if we can. And I have no idea what that area is, but we've still got all this area to go. The map's actually pretty big. So, it'll be interesting to see how it develops, because I've never been that far. I've only ever got to this stage before. So, at least we've got some map information. And we've got some chickens. And it just ate a chicken. Okay. And then you also have chicks as well, so you can raise them up and then obviously turn them into food. And so we see. I'm sure there's usually some white ones around here. Ah, there we go. There, there is. There's a white one. Oh, there you go. There's a nice little white one. Just like that. Now, it, hopefully, if that does eat some, or if that's there, because you can combine slimes, just like that. So if you put a plot down of one type and then another type eats it, it then turns into a hybrid, like a giant thing that you can pick up. I'm not really sure the point of them. I think they give you better plots. So, you can also fire them out to sea. Bye! Bloop. Oh, and there's another one. And I believe he's round here. You also have these things. I'm not actually too sure what you do with them. I don't know whether I'm supposed to give them food, I think. But it does say that the diet for the white ones is meat. So if we get some meat, we might try and feed it. I think you do, but I'm not really sure what happens if you feed it. And then I've never actually known what these do either, but it's a treasure pod and it's locked. I don't really know how to unlock it. So we're going to learn as we go on. So, what we're going to do is run all the way back to the ranch and drop off what we've picked up so far. Because that gives me enough money to do the high walls. So, now we've done that. Obviously, we've now got no money, but at least if I put these in here, they shouldn't all crowd up and be able to get out. So... That's all of those. And then we'll feed them. So let's throw loads of carrots in. And loads of fruit. There we go. And I suppose we just let them eat. Which means, I believe, yes, we can afford the plot collector. So if we buy that. And it's basically this machine here. So, 
what you do is you press that on there and then if there's any plorts in there it'll collect them which I can show you if I feed them a chicken quickly there we go they ate the chicken drop the plort so then if I press that there we go and then you just take them out of there and then you can go sell them so for these ones they don't need any special water or nighttime things or anything so we could just purchase a standard one and fire them in there. I'm hoping that they can't jump out. Right, so now we've got some money and some food. Let's, if we try and keep all the slimes together over there, and then we'll set up a garden over here. So if we purchase that, now what do I do? Shoot the fruit or veg into there. Oh, okay, so it only needs one. And I'm guessing that's all going to grow. Oh, it is. Right, so that's going to grow into food for me. So one of them gives me quite a lot. So that's quite a handy thing to invest in then is the food. So what can we actually do for it? Nutrient soil. Yield the maximum harvest. Okay, sprinkler. Grow twice as fast. Scare slime. Nice. So basically a scarecrow, but for slime. Remove crops or demolish plot. So we don't need any of that really at the moment. Because we're only early on. It would be nice to start getting them to grow faster, but it's not important. Right, so now we've got a bit more money. I've actually found out this is the upgrade shop. So we can actually upgrade things. So water tank... So we can actually suck up water, which is obviously good for the water ones when we get to them, but we don't have them at the moment, so it doesn't matter. Jetpack. I'm guessing we can... I don't know if you can actually fly it or whether it just sort of works as a jump pack, but we might see. Dash boots. Reduce the energy consum uh, bleh, consumption of sprinting. So that, that's quite handy. Obviously more health, power core. Okay. I don't see why... It, what does it mean? I could just get things from further away, maybe? I don't know. And then tank booster. So then we can hold 30 units of whatever we want. So we're actually going to buy that now. Because that's quite a handy one to have. Right. So, we've got our garden upgraded, but we're going to have to see what the scare slime looks like. So, I know it's a lot of money, but we're going to have to do it just to have a look. Ha, they're so adorable. So, does it do something if I put a slime near it? If I grab one quickly, let's have a look if I put him down. Oh. Maybe if I don't fire him straight at everything. Let's just pull him over with the gun. There we go. No, so he just runs away scared. Oh, bless him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little man. We'll go put you back with your friends. There we go. That's better. Right. So, what do we have? We have a garden set up for our carrots. With our nice little scare slime. <laughs> oh. So that should do quite well for us. We've also got a rock slime pen. Which I should really put a lid on. Or. Let's do a plot collector actually. So I don't keep getting injured. And that way. That helps out a bit more with that. We've got our pink slime pen. With quite a lot in there. With basically quite a few upgrades. We've got the higher walls, the net on top, and the plot collector. And that's basically how the game works. It's quite a fun game to play. I wish it was multiplayer though. It'd be quite fun to run around with a friend doing all this. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys. And also like the video if you want to see more of this Slime Rancher. And also let me know in the comments whether you want to see me do it as it goes on 
or whether you want to just see me skip till what I've unlocked like the next map area and then do the next video a bit further on into the game rather than just this same thing make sure to let me know and yeah I hope you enjoyed it so let's go sell these quickly and then we'll go to sleep so I hope you enjoyed it peace out